65-52 Wolverines. Seven minutes left. Simpson barking out orders. Jawan Howard directing traffic far sideline. Now left side Brooks gazing in toward Teske. Feeds it and he's immediately double teamed and fouled by Joel Ayayi. It's Gonzaga's third infraction, so Michigan will inbound it. I'll tell you what, Big John Teske has gained a lot of respect down there on that block area. He decided to go one-on-one on him to start the ball game, and I'll tell you what, there was no hesitation on getting him the ball then. It was... David DeJulius, the inbound... And he caught it from Simpson at the center line. Gonzaga wanted it to be an over and back. And the original call was play on, but Jamie Lucky came over and whistled the play dead. And Lucky's going to overturn the call and give it an over the back. Just the 10th turnover for Michigan. And I think what happened to Julius landed on his left foot on the correct side, and then the right foot was on the uh, Gonzaga offensive side, and that's what yeah. got him. Yeah, and immediately after that, Coach Howard said, hey, let's go. Get yep. him the ball. Let's play on. Let's let's get dialed in here. Left wing, Kispert has it. He's been quiet. Just six points to Timmy. Driving in on right. Tess. He bodied him up. No whistle. And Timmy lays it in on the right. It is an 11-point game. Michigan hasn't scored in 215. 6.20 left. Wolverines trying to win this Atlantis tournament. Simpson has it in between the rings. He'll drive. Now curl back. Work to the right wing. Double team spin. A pass inside to wow. Teske who goes up for a two-hand crush. Man, you want to talk about spinning it in there. Man. Yeah. Give me that record player. <laughs> yeah. Left side Kispert. Wolverines by a baker's dozen. Here's Kispert driving on Simpson, shut off, give to Timmy. Got away with a travel, and he's fouled. Teske reaches in, bodies him up. They'll get him for one of those two, and it'll be an eighth team foul for the Wolverines. Teske his third. Teske, by the way, 19 points, 14 rebounds. It's his 12th career double-double, and those 14 boards a career best. Yeah, Teske's still trying to figure out why didn't he get a charge on that last yep. play, and I tell you what that wasn't a flop when well, anytime you can take a man down like that <laughs> Timmy makes the first yeah, John Teske's not flopping much no if he's down he's down for a reason mm -hmm. it takes a whole lot for a big man to get up off the floor trust me yeah I was just surprised there was no whistle either way second free throw off to the right Simpson the rebound I thought it was a charge but it's tough to no call that regardless right side to Julius in front of Michigan's bench 545 to go clock moving second half Michigan with a 12 point lead Brooks left wing he'll try a three rattles it home Eli Brooks he's surging in the second half he's got eight Michigan by 15 man dialed him right up they like to call that kind of a pick -a boo play where he goes in and reps right back out Timmy feed it inside toward Tilly and he lays it in delicately on the right Timmy and Tilly playing a good two-man game but Michigan still up 13 5 10 to go Michigan the Iowa State Wednesday, North Carolina Thursday, trying to knock off undefeated Gonzaga today. Simpson pitches it back left. Wide open livers for a three. Swish! Man, I mean, Michigan has this Zags defense discombobulated. I mean, they're just... <laughs> hey, you're right about that. I, 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 don't, I don't know who to guard, which way they're going. It's just... Left elbow, Gilder a brick. Rebound Teske, his career best 15th. Now Simpson surveys the scene, and Juwan Howard tells the Wolverines to slow down. Simpson will backtrack. Simpson wanted to drive there. Yeah. Juwan almost grabbed him and said, no, you stay back. You dwindle some of this clock. Now Simpson goes to work, battling against Tilly. Kick it left side. Livers wants a triple. Rattles around oh. and falls in. <laughs> Everything dropping for the maize and blue. Timeout, Gonzaga. Yeah, Mark Few came off and I mean he's talking to his players about do this and do that and they kind of like It don't make a difference which Wolverine we help off of 
they seem to find the open player and knock down big time shots. High tide for the Wolverines at the beach. Michigan up 19. They can sense a battle for Atlanta's championship. We're back after this. You're listening to Michigan basketball from Learfield IMG College. Michigan rolling. They're up 76 57, 423 to go here in this battle for Atlanta's championship game. And, well, Terry, you know what's crazy? Doesn't get any easier. We preview the upcoming schedule brought to you by Meyer at potentially number one Louisville on Tuesday. But, I mean, Michigan, they're going to they're gonna be ranked, and it's a real question of as to how high they'll be ranked after yeah, this week. Yeah, well, it doesn't make a difference to them whether they nope. don't rank them or not. You know, this is such a level-headed team. I think other people worry about that. Fans worry about that and things like that. This team is about trying to win ball games, and then they will get their respect. Today's preview of the upcoming schedule brought to you by Meyer, your all-star selection for everything Michigan. Wolverines by 19. Gonzaga with it from left to right. Woolridge has it. Far sideline, Ayayi. Now he works to the point. Pitch it to Timmy up ahead, Tilly. And Tilly lost the handle for a moment. Livers bothering him, and Livers knocks it out of bounds. 4 1 to play. Michigan up 76 57. Tilly and Gilder out. As it'll be a trigger man baseline left Woolridge underneath to Timmy and he banks it in to pull Gonzaga within 17. They've got Timmy, Petrushev, Woolridge, Ayayi, and Kispert on the floor. Seven man rotation really and they've played all but three of the minutes. Here's Simpson right block, fires at left corner. Livers wants another one. Rattled out, rebound Petrushev. Oh, oh man, that was close. Here's Woolridge. He'll take it coast to coast. Tough banker. No. Rebound one hops into the arms of Brooks. Michigan up 17 with the basketball. 325 to play. And this is what I talk about playing the right way. You slow it down. You run your offense. You run a little clock. Make the right plays. Left corner to Julius. Tries a three. It's strong. One hop rebound comes down to Kispert and Gonzaga. 310 to play. Michigan by 17. Kispert. At the point, thought about a triple. Now left side, Woolridge, bounce it into Timmy. Couple of dribbles, got a size advantage on Brooks. Muscles it up there, well short. Got his own rebound for a moment. Petrushev fighting, still pinballing. Simpson emerges with it for the maize and blue. Three on three, Simpson turns on the Jets, lays it up, lays it in low on the left. Oh, how about that journey for Xavier Simpson? Michigan up 19. Yeah, I'll have to ask him about that. That was kind of a Euro step, but he lost the ball in midair. So. On the offensive side, Simpson takes a lick. It's an offensive foul, and X a little banged up underneath the basket on an elbow from Woolridge. Simpson gets up, a little shaken up. He's playing hurt. Yeah. He's got a little banged up on Wednesday, and he's gritted through this one like the leader that he is. Yeah, you, you know what true leadership is. We had an opportunity to spend some time with him and eat Thanksgiving dinner with him. And i seen him walk around to every player on his team and said, that's my fault that I got in foul trouble. I appreciate you guys for pulling that out and gutting it out, and that's what team is for. That was just so mature for me to hear him say. I mean, that's something that, of course, I could say now as being sure. older, but to hear that come from him, I thought that was very big of him. He's wise beyond his years, and that's why he has been a staple in this program. Michigan up by 19, 230 to play. Livers right wing. Give it over to Wagner, who just checked in for DeJulius. Now left pocket, Simpson. Looking. Works to the right. Simpson with 13 assists will take it himself and miss and then a travel by Drew Timmy with no contention around him that kind of sums this one up here today I'm about to say took the words right out of my mouth that yeah. was pretty much uh, how the day has been going from them uh, since the beginning well Terry this win is going to mature so well because Gonzaga is a team they normally dominate the West Coast Conference Mark Few is 276 and 30 against conference foes since being the head coach at Gonzaga. 
This is a good ball club, and Michigan's yeah. up by 19 with 2.15 yeah. to play. I'll tell you what, it raises the bar as far sure as does. Michigan basketball simply because Coach Howard understands what these men can do. So don't say you can't do it. Don't say you can't get it done. I mean, with these signature wins and too bad here today, it's something special. Eight on the shot clock, Simpson directing traffic. Now he'll take it in, drive to the right block, tiptoe, spins oh, it up man. there. Another reverse layup <laughs> is good. A little shaken up as he runs back down the floor. Michigan by 21. Here's Ayayi a floater, and that one rolls home. Yeah, Simpson's not sure if he's playing basketball or WMMA because, I mean, <laughs> he is on the floor every single time getting beat up. But I think he just merged, too. Man, <laughs> unbelievable. What a, what a gutsy young man. <laughs> uh, Simpson will head to the bench. <laughs> after a brilliant performance yeah 13 and 13 no unluckiness out of that huh yeah i'm sure he didn't just go to the locker room and head to the cold tub because uh he is banged up man he is a battler michigan by 19 134 to play De julius has it out on high michigan is going to win the battle for Atlantis, a tournament that the national champion has won in each of the last two seasons. We'll take three in a row for that. To Julius, pitch it left point. Teske for a three. Off to the right. Oh, that had been the arrow dagger from Big John. Rebound Gonzaga. Ayayi, 25-footer from the point, splashes it down. 80-64. to 64. Brooks to inbound, gives it to Livers' far sideline. And Michigan today has really closed this thing off well. A minute left, and... We're going to see both Cole Bajima and Austin Davis check in for the Maize and Blue. Gonzaga will put up the white flag with Matthew Lang coming in, a sophomore from beautiful Portland, Oregon. And Michigan with a minute left, up 16, is going to win the battle for Atlantis here in the Bahamas. Special start, T. Special, special week as well. Yes, it has been. It's been fun. I mean, uh... I can't say enough about this team. I mean, everyone has been connected. Understood it was a business trip. I mean, that was one of the first things I, I had heard from the players as far as on social media was the minute they landed that we're on a business trip. And I do believe that came from Isaiah Livers. You know, they said, hey, we're on a business trip. And whenever you have that maturity and guys are not talking about getting on giant slides, I'm going to walk on the beach. Yeah. They can do that tonight. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they can have fun tonight. <laughs> they can walk around and hear about how great they are because they have been brilliant this entire week. Up 16 off the inbound to Julius dribbling out some of this clock. The shot clock reads 10 in red. De Julius at the point, drifts to the right side, kick it, badge him a left wing, stutter step, gets his man up laying, goes up there, floats it up and in. The freshman badge him with a bucket. Yeah, how about Cole with the crossover there? Nice little move. He's going to be a good player in this program. Yes, Ayayi is. at the point. That one's off to the left. Rebound down to Arlauskas. Now right side, Ayayi again misfires. Rebound out of bounds, and it's going to the Michigan Wolverines. 82-64, and the Wolverines can dribble it out. Yeah, I'm quite sure a lot of people didn't see this coming. The Michigan fan base seen it because they're always confident that Michigan's going to win no matter what, like I am. I think they'll win every single game. And, uh, you know, you've got the naysayers or whatever, but they stay focused. They don't worry about that. Jawan Howard goes up and down that bench and shakes everyone's hands as Michigan clinches the battle for Atlantis championship. They beat Iowa State, North Carolina, and right now they knock off the Gonzaga Bulldogs, 82-64. They take the 8-0, 8th ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs and beat them by 18. What a performance, what an effort, and the Michigan Wolverines are off to a 7-0 start with back-to-back -back wins over top 10 teams. Well, the story here hasn't been red. It's been maize and blue. Oh, it's been maize and blue. They're championship moment here for the Wolverines. A great way to start your coaching career to beat a future Hall of Famer and have a dominant performance. The Wolverines, to put it simply, they were awesome, baby, with a capital delay. Eighty 
62-64 the final. That's right, Michigan, Xavier Simpson, they're the champs. And how you doing, Lima, Ohio? Simpson was brilliant. The Wolverines, they certainly earned it with wins over Iowa State, North Carolina, and Gonzaga. And Michigan over Gonzaga, 82 to 64. John Teske was so good. Livers as well. And Teske, our player of the game, presented to you by Bad Boy Mowers. Teske affecting the game on the glass, scoring and blocking shots. And those 15 rebounds represent a career high for the senior. We mentioned Xavier Simpson. You know, both Teske and Simpson schoolboy players competed against one another in Ohio. And our winning coach standing by with Jimmy Dykes. Hey, Juwan, it, it, it's not your first time on the big stage, but it's your first one on the big stage as a college coach. What did you learn about yourself these past three days? Well, I learned that I have a great staff that I trust. I learned that I'm confident in who we are as a group and as a staff. We're a connected group, man. And this is a great example of all of us being connected and being all in. You know, about uh, 30 seconds ago in the ball game, you turned around and looked at the maze of blue fans behind your bench and pointed at them. How does that feel? That was your alma mater to look at those fans and say, you know what, we got us a championship. Well, you know, we're in Nassau, Bahamas. It's not an inexpensive trip, as well as there are a lot of people that are not only just our fans, but our family that came over, trekked over the waters to be here and support this team. And we're very appreciative, thankful, and grateful. And I just got to let them know that with all they've done, it wasn't just us. They had a major part, major role in this. John, your tears at the press conference were real, real tears. Coaching at your alma mater, I think, can sometimes put a little extra pressure on you as well. But you've embraced that pressure with a I will not let you down mentality. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm from Chicago, South Side. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot of adversity. And this is not new to me, man. Talk about pressure, yeah, I embrace pressure. You know, I'm not gonna run from it. You know, I've done this all my life. Basketball is something I have been doing since I was six years old. I love this game, I'm passionate about it. Now I'm being able to serve and help these young kids, man. They will develop and become men. It's my calling. I'm very blessed, thank you, God. Come on, congratulations, my man. Thank you. Congratulations. You will coach on a Monday night in April sometime in your career. Appreciate that. Boog. All right, Jimmy. They earned it. No question about it. Jawan Howard and the Michigan Wolverines, they are the <laughs> champs. Yeah. I like That's it. The coach. Up. Oh, yeah. Show oh, it. Yeah. Do it, Jawan. Do it, baby. Shake it. Motown, Little Motor City. Uh oh, he's got the little shuffle there. Oh, wow. You can see the players love him, man. They love him. I love working with you, my man. Back at you, time. pal. Good Happy time. Thanksgiving to you and your family and everybody out there. Next time I'm seeing Stanford and Kansas out there in Stanford. That will be fun. Michigan, they are the champs here in the Bahamas. Thanks so much for joining us. Up next, college football scoreboard, followed by Big 12 college football between West Virginia and TCU. For Dick Town, Jimmy Dykes and our entire outstanding crew. John Shopey saying so long from the Bahamas. Now we send it to the studio, Matt Berry with Joey Galloway and Jesse Palmer.